Hey yo squad, what's the drill? Back with another video, man. Well, it seems like 2024 is on some BS already. With well, Oblock's trial still fresh on everybody's mind, Chicago was hit with another tragedy. His THFTP just lost his life in a brazen attack while he was with his seeds. Details remain scarce, of course, but one thing people know for a fact is that this definitely was a targeted attack. THFTP was a rapper out of the THF camp in Chicago. Of all its members, THF Beizu will probably be the most known. TP had a rap career that was extremely underground, but he had a steady fan base that stayed down with him. You know, every year we hope that the starts to slow down, especially in Chicago. But as soon as the faith and the hope rises, another high profile body falls, and so does our optimism. So just what led to this brutal hit? Why now? And what's going to be the after effects of this crazy BS? We're going to find out. So without further ado, let's skip the play play and get down to business. At 30 years old, it's safe to say that bruh's life was really just getting started. Even with that being said, TP had already been through a lifetime of hardships and street drama. Introduced to the street life by his pops at a young age, he pretty much knew that that was his destiny, and he embraced it. Even the TP in his street name said as much. Real ones know. Despite what he was surrounded by in the streets, TP would be the first to tell you that he was actually a pretty decent student. Some ish went down to high school, so he went and got his GED. Around 06, 07 is when TP started rapping. Through the years, it became hard for him to focus strictly on music. Life was real. But as he got older, he started pivoting his focus over the business and music ownership. You know what? Had he been a bigger artist, it's likely the major news wouldn't have stayed away from the investigation of this tragedy. But the internet and urban YouTube investigators have been really exploring the possibilities of what could have happened behind this drill. Chirac's secret agent man Trench's news and King AK-47 have both been on the job helping to give people more information surrounding this incident. To add more historical context to TP's most infamous moments, before King Von lost his life, he accused somebody in his circumference of stealing hella bands from him. The person he was talking about was actually THFTP. They would end up having to war words on social media where Von tried to take his hood pass and bruh wasn't allowing that. TP defended himself and so did his homie. Although nothing else really came from the situation, it still wasn't a good look for bruh. Nevertheless, they moved past it and TP was greatly affected by the loss of King Von, which shows that the love was still there. The best look TP had in terms of his career and his internet clout was when he dropped the infamous drill track, Bus Stop, a catchy diss track poking fun at the demise of Tuka and Lil Mark. This video got several million views and had the internet talking. It's crazy how this joint is one of the first things people thought of when they heard about his passing. In a classic case of what goes around comes around on the karma side of the game. It's still unfortunate nonetheless. Shortly after the ish went down, 051 Kiddo sparked some attention from Drill fans by posting a picture of Lil Mark. Many assumed the picture was a jab at TP, especially since 051 and THF had been had smoke. According to him, the feud between the two started off as just fights in school that later turned deadly when they got their hands on straps. And it be like that sometimes. It's the evolution and the evolution. A decent part of the online drill community believes that this long-standing beef may have had something to do with TP meeting his untimely demise. As customary of a lot of drill hits, footage of the incident hit the internet about two days after everything went down and it's truly a messed up sight. For his own kids to witness his demise in such a brutal way, man only God knows what those children will have to deal with mentally. It's truly a blessing that the kids were able to get away in time. With the hitters going up close and personal to TP, the fact that his kids survived was likely an intentional deed. This possibility hints at the fact that the hitters had a bit of heart and decorum even in the midst of drilling something. And also, the whole thing was a planned out incident. There were rumors swirling around that the girl that was with TP set bruh up, but that hasn't really been clarified as of yet. In the shocking video, a white car pulls up with two gunmen and they hop out the whip and completely let off in the bruhs his kids scream in complete and utter shock. It would appear that TP was gone right then and there as the gunman pulled off and rolled off into the night. The whole incident took place in less than 20 seconds, but its aftermath will have a full effect forever. There are no clear motives to the hit so far other than the perceived life that TP lived in the diss track that dropped so many years ago. 
It was always said that the streets never forget, and this may very well be a case of the streets flexing its memory. There were no real detailed news reports about the incident made on the news, or no official police statements that have been made either, even with the fact that the kids were involved. This leaves the streets to try to solve this case on its own and further continue the cycle of violence. What's crazy is that if you look back to the bus stop music video, it's basically a who's who on deceased and alleged notorious gang members, showing that the dark energy involving drill music haunts all involved until it decides to strike and nobody is left unscathed. With THFTP gone, his family and the THF crew are left to pick up the pieces and make sense of it all, but none of that will bring him back. And just like that, his kids will be left without a father figure and have to deal with seeing their darkest moment posted online for all to see. Unfortunately, they were born to a parent who was so deeply entrenched in the streets that it almost cost them their own life. And that's just too much for any child to bear. Our prayers are with them and the family during these crazy times. May they still live on to have a beautiful and fruitful life, free from the stress and strife that has already claimed TP's life and the lives of so many others. As always, I say, stay smart, stay alert, and stay real. I'm out, y'all.